through the word of God, Galatians chapter 5. We're going to read verse 1. And um, I'm going to go to the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3. Believe. Genesis chapter 3. Yeah, Genesis 3. I'm going to take verse 17. Yes, verse 17. Then the last scripture, Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4, verse 17. Genesis chapter 4, verse 17. Alright, let's start from Let's start from um, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. No. It reads as follows. So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tired of again in slavery to the law. Listen, I, Paul, tell you this. If you are counted on on circumcision to make you right with God, then Christ will be of no benefit to you. I'll read verse 1 again. So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up again in slavery to the law. And Genesis chapter 3, I said verse 17, right? Did you find it? And to the man he said, since you listened to your wife, ate from the tree, whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground is cursed because of you. All your life you will struggle to scratch a living from it. Tap words. All your life you will struggle to scratch a living from it. Genesis chapter 4. Verse 10, but the Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground, which has swallowed your brother's blood. No longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be homeless, wandering on the earth. Verse 12 again, no longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Heavenly Father, this is your word. I pray, Lord, this morning that God may your word speak to us. May your word, Lord, lead us and, and, and prophesy to us. I thank you, God, that you are here to speak for yourself and to speak by yourself and the Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are here to execute the intentions of the, of the word in this place. We believe, oh God, that we came to hear you. And Lord, you are speaking to us even right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. Um, I want to just title the message. Financial wisdom. The California Chile. Yeah, say with me, financial wisdom. Financial wisdom. In most cases, we find people who are very wise in other things. But not wise financially. Wise under G, under general. But financially, not that wise. So if you are not financially wise, you are otherwise. If you are not financially wise, you are otherwise. Or oh, ask your neighbor, are you financially wise or are you otherwise? 
you can teach otherwise or are you otherwise? <laughs> people that are otherwise are people that are making big cues to the long shot. But you must have a very good time for that line. Oh, look at my challenge. Amen. But people who are financially wise, they make cues. In fact, I will tell you that line to deposit money. Go back in your challenge. Hallelujah. I pray and I believe that God is raising people who will be financially wise. I pray and I believe that God is raising families in this place. Who will not be financially burdened, but will be financially free. I pray that from the little that you may have, the more shall come out. I pray and I decree that it is a season of our financial freedom. If there are people who believe with me, shout hallelujah. Believe that this is what is happening in your house right now. Shout hallelujah. I see seasons come and go. Maybe it was a time of lack. Maybe it was a time to owe. But now it is a time not to owe anymore. It's a time for abundance in Jesus' name. It's a time to have in Jesus' name. But now that is a time to have. I pray that you may be wise financially. I pray that you may be wise with the little you have. I pray that you may be wise as you spend. If you don't need that shirt, don't buy. If you don't need those shoes, don't buy them. Don't spend money you do not have to buy clothes you do not need to impress people you do not love. Hallelujah. So don't use the money you do not have to buy things you don't need. Buy a car you don't afford. Go to the place you cannot afford. We are blanking your hand and I will hold. Just will depend about God and the way. Hallelujah. Amen. That's not being financially wise. That's being otherwise. I was working my key. Are you otherwise? 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when I was, when I was uh, trying to read and, and, and prepare on this subject, we tried to find out where did this money came from. Where does the money come from in the first place? Listen, this is what I found out. Money was not created by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we're gonna get scriptures right now. But now we must also understand that when God created man, man on Eden, he did not over everything. Not over man. But over everything. He gave him power over everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he provided every need of a man. Let's let's do this. Let's say this is stage okay? This stage is the uh, 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 presence of the Lord, or is it is a place of grace? I said to get La Pansi is the kingdom of darkness. Give me fast. 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 Give me fast.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Alléluia.
But now later on, his son was cursed himself. Come on, class. I told you I did but what you must have to wash our cake, no, 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 Hallelujah. And God told Adam that you will work hard just that you may eat. Not that you may have a car. Just that you may eat. Not that you may have a house. Just to eat. You will work very hard Working the ground that is cursed. Just that you may survive. But when he was when he was with God, God had said, I supply all the people But when you have no longer in God, work hard just to eat. Number say, good preaching fast. Good preaching fast. Now, the thing is, the world where we came in, it was already cursed. Given birth to by the cursed man. Because there's no way that a cursed man can give birth to a blessed child. So we cursed. Now we are not able to have a child. We are not able to have a child. We are not able to have a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in this kingdom of darkness, we work hard so that we be healed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The, the issue of giving, it never makes sense on the end. Because God said, you will work so that you can eat. So now, when I work that hard, I'm not going to be able to eat. So that you can also eat. Now, why does somebody say, I must give you? I have waited. You were sleeping. So as I give someone who's sleeping, so giving doesn't make sense in the world. Because I was told to work hard. You were told to work hard. So why do you sleep and not working hard? And expect me to give you. It doesn't make sense. No, but I cannot give you when I work hard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now, in this kingdom of God, giving makes sense. Because whatever I had, I did not work hard for. But God said, I will supply your need. And He did supply. So when He gives me, when we freely give it, I can freely give because what I have, I did not work hard for. Then it makes sense to give when I am in the kingdom of God. When I am not in the kingdom of God, giving doesn't make sense. But when I am in the kingdom of God, I understand that God gives me. God is my source. I do not have to work hard. I just have to worship him. I just have to be obedient to him. And he supplies whatever I have. In faith, the same person, when I've got to give, if he is in the same kingdom, he also gets supplied by the same supply. So if he supplies delayed, if his supply is delayed, then there is no need, there is no problem for 
So Christ will not take it for granted. Because he represented somebody's value. So I'm happy more money was a symbol of more labor. So more money was a symbol of more labor. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So more money was a symbol of more value. So, the, the problem we have is we had later on. Even today, is that we, we have money, but we do not leak a value to the money. If, if money does not represent any value put in, that money becomes useless. Amen. 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 You see, if you do not put any value before you got the money you got, that money becomes money but valueless, valueless to you. How many of you agree with me? If you get money to which you do not put any value, that money becomes valueless to you. It becomes a lot of figures, but no value. Look at the people who win Lotto. After years, they are declared bankrupt.
and they give him all the monies and then he takes the money and goes then five minutes or so later on then the security company comes we just gave you money hey that guy that man was making a lot of money back in the days we knew him when we were school but today uh, I, I saw him when I was preaching in Abtata very poor Went to the house of the Lord. He said, I didn't know what I was doing. But I am saved now. In fact, the point is, the money that you do not put value into, it will never be valuable to you. Give God a head of praise. Hallelujah. Now, let us not give our children just a lot of figures. Let us train our children to put value. Whatever that is valuable to them, they must put value before they get something. So that they can, they can, they can, they can see money as a valuable commodity. If you are killing their future, Hallelujah. So we must be financially wise. Such that we do not just have figures, but we have got value on whatever we have. If, if you do not work for anything you have, it will be valueless to you. Amen. Amen. I want to touch on something. But I'll take a and the things that we are doing. But what we get back becomes valuable. That's what you can learn from the kingdom. But I really see the kingdom that is fast. I can see the kingdom that is fast. I can see the kingdom that is fast. I can see the kingdom that is fast. Now, in the kingdom of God, because you know where your source comes from. There's a point I wanted to make quickly. Is that uh, on earth hard work pays. But in the kingdom of God, hard work pays. But I mean, I mean, I mean. In the kingdom of the world, hard work pays. But in the kingdom of God, hard work pays. If you want to hear the difference more. Do you see the difference now? So, in other ways, there is hard work. There is hard work. What do I mean by that? There is a, there is a young man, a friend of mine. From now, long time since long time ago, he is my age. This guy would have like 10 cars in the house. Top of the race, go better. And when no dies or so on a man. Or what it is, it says the post a V8 AMG. Oh, when it's having a V8 AMG man, just bought this one now. My age. I'm not just now, I'm talking about over 10 years ago. Now, now, I ask him, what do you do to have so much money? Then he says, bro, I work hard. Then do you think I wake up and play? Do you think I also don't work hard? Do you think all of us don't work hard? You're the only one here working hard. No, we are all working hard. Maybe harder than you. But we get nothing. So the thing is, it is just a grace. And it's your season. It is not our season yet. Even though we're working hard, nothing comes out. But guess what? Our season is coming. But it's not the matter of hard work. But it's the matter of the grace. It's the matter of the favor. Our time is coming. The Bible says, time and chance is given to all. Hallelujah. 
So in this case, hard work is Damiana was working for him. Praise the name of the Lord. But I want to say something. When you are in the kingdom of God, how do you do not work hard for things. But you work hard to worship God. But you work hard to serve God. But you put value in the things you do for the Lord. You put value in the service that you do for the Lord. If, if you are worshiping, if you are singing in the house of the Lord, you spend time working out your scheme. You spend sleepless nights working out your scheme. You work, you, you wake up in the night, you pray for what you're going to do. You are putting a value to what you are going to bring as a service. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, you are blessed, but you work hard. Yes, you are talented, but you work hard. Yes, you are talented, but you work hard. Yes, you have a voice, but you work hard. You take time working. You take time praying. So that when you give a service, it is a service with value. That is why money it follows value. It is not the value that follows money. Hallelujah. Say with me. Money follows the value. Money follows value. So when there is a value in what you do, money will come from all directions. If whatever service you bring, whatever service you render, it is a valuable service. Money will come. If you bring a cheap service, there will be no money coming. Because money follows the value. But if you practice so hard, if you work so hard on the song, if you work so hard on the album, people will stop what they were doing and they will come listen to you. Even if you sing an old song, because of the value that you have put in the old song, money will follow the value. If there is no value, money will not be found. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about now bring out business people in here. If you render uh, valueless services, prayer will not make money come to your business. Take time. Spend time on the service you render. Study about the service you render. Investigate and research about the service. The more you spend time on it, the more you are hard on it, the more it becomes valuable. And money follows better. Hallelujah. If there's no value in what you're doing, there will be no money following. So when we are in the kingdom of God, we work hard in building ourselves. We work hard. You see, we work hard on the things of the Lord. And the Lord works hard on building our things. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, I had a company. The more I work hard in the things of the Lord, the more the company blossoms. But the more I, I leave the things of the Lord, I get and go and work hard there. In the more I realize I am toiling. In the more I realize that I am crying here. In the more I get stressed and depressed. But the more I live the first day and work in the things of the kingdom and work in the matters of the kingdom, he will make all things work together for the good in the company. The more I serve him, the sweeter he becomes in my company. The more I worship him, the more I put quality on the things of the kingdom. Is the more quality comes, the more quality comes. On the company side, because the more we work hard, all the things of the Lord, is the more He make all things work together for the good. 
Hallelujah. So we're going to work hard in the kingdom of God. When you go and work hard in your in your in your work and everything else, it is good, but you are applying the laws of the world. The law of the world says you work is what you eat. In the kingdom of God, we obey. And those who are willing and obedient shall eat the fruit of the land. So in the kingdom of God, we obey. But in the kingdom of darkness, we work hard. So now I want to know in which kingdom are you? Are you in the kingdom of the world or in the kingdom of God? Are you the kingdom of the world or the kingdom of God? Are you the kingdom of the world or the kingdom of God? I promise you, you will not get a true answer there. But let me simplify it before I close. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. Put it there in Jengo who Christ was in Kudula. Do not get into other little cool. Man, he can go go. He will let go. He man to Kudula. I tell you, Christ.
when God liberated the Israelites from Egypt, they never entered the, the Canaan. Because even though they were delivered from Canaan, their minds were still in Canaan. Now God decided that I will kill them. But before they die, they must give children. So these children will enter the promised land. Now in the New Testament, the, new, the same thing is happening. People are born again, but their minds are still in slavery. And now God says, until you become like a child, you will never see the kingdom of God. That means, unless you become like a child, and get to understand that what you have, you will not have to understand. Right there. Good preaching right there. Ah, oh, it's kind of something. <laughs> Little Bible, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve God and money. In other words, God says money is a master. Money is a master. How many of you here are serving the master money? All right, let, 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 let's break it down a little bit. Uh, uh, slavery means if you are the slave of money, this is what it means. Many of you are saying that let me say there's a difference between a slave and an employee. A slave, an employee is somebody, if you are my employee, there is a contract that I'm buying services from you between this time and this time. And these are the services that I'm buying from you. You have got rights, I've got rights. That's an employee contract. Uh employee contract. But then in the in the in the issue of slavery, there is no contract. You do what I do. The way I say do it. The way I want it done. When I say jump, you jump. I get a cooler. When I say don't don't pray, you don't pray. When I say don't go there, you don't go there. It is slavery. So the Bible says you are being free from slavery. Now slavery means you don't do what you want. Your, your, your options are suspended. Your choices are suspended. Your lives are suspended. Your emotions are suspended. You do what your master wants. This thing is deep. So if you are serving money, how if money is your master, he suspends your options. He suspends your choices. He suspends your emotions. He suspends anything you like. He says, do what I want you to do. When I want you to do it. Now, is there anybody here? I'm going to ask the question again. Is there anybody here who do not pray when they want? Because, because uh, I have got to do this job. This job gives me money. Yes, I was supposed to be doing this, I understand, but then let me do this job. Because I need money. I know gaming is well. Let me try another one. Is, is there Person who says, I, I don't like this man. I don't like this young man. He is not my type. But he has got money. Because he has got what I want, I will suspend my options. I will go for this young man anyway. Because of the money, I don't care how I feel about him. I will do it for the money. That's a slave of money right there. 
Is there anybody in here who said, I don't work? I don't want to be in this work. This work depresses me. This work harasses me. Because this work depresses me. This work harasses me. But because Hagisia was a bit on, tell her that I know my day. So I will go to work anyway. That is a slave of mine right there. Is there anybody who says, I don't want to be in this work? I don't want to be in this work. I do it. Take the Lord from me. When I go home, I'm not a husband, I'm a zombie. When I go to my kids, I'm not a father, I am a monster. Because I am worked out. I am finished. But even though I'm a monster, these kids need the monster's money. But I'd rather be a monster. I would rather be a zombie. Because his wife needs money. That is the Slave of money, right there. All the options are taken away. Because when I'm at the end, when I'm at the end, somebody says, Slave of money. Slave of money. Now, are there any people here who are slaves of master money? So that when I'm at the end, so that you, you know what to fix. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you're doing all the things you don't want, just that there could be money in here, then you are the slave of money. Then you are the thing that you want to do. But because of money, you say I will do them anyway. So that there's money. Then on the Hallelujah. Amen. So now little by bit. Maybe Christ was the one who was cruel. Christ was cruel. Christ was cruel. Christ was cruel.